How can you use diagrams, equations, and story problems to represent division? This is lesson 8.5, interpret division with fractions. Elizabeth has six cups of raisins. She divides the raisins into one-fourth cup serving. About how many servings does she have? You can use a diagram. You can use diagrams, equations, and story problems to repeat, uh, to represent division. So let's draw a diagram to solve. What would we draw first? What does she have? Six cups, six cups of raisins. So draw me six uh, rectangles. Okay, she divides the raisins into one fourth cup serving. So now what are we going to do? Split each rectangle into four. Okay, here we go. So we have our six cups and we have it divided in, into each cup into four. To find six divided one fourth, count the total number of fourths in the six rectangles. Well, we have four in each and four times six is what? 24. So 6 divided by 1 fourth equals 24. So Elizabeth has 24 of the 1 fourth cup servings. Okay, so now we're on example 1 on the bottom part of page 357. It says, four friends share 1 fourth of a gallon of orange juice. What fraction of a gallon of orange juice does each friend share? So we have one fourth, and we're dividing that among how many people? Four. 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 So one fourth, write a related multiplication fact. If we have four, this four would be four over one, right? So we're going to take it times the reciprocal of that. And one times one is one, and four times four is sixteen. So each friend will get one sixteenth of a gallon. If you look over here at this representation, the gallon has been divided into 16 parts, and you're going to get one of those parts. It says write a story. This is example two at the top of page 358. Write a story problem, then draw a diagram to solve. Choose the item. It says then draw a diagram to solve four divided by one third. Your problem should be about many groups of one-third, about how many groups of one-third are in four holes. Possible items, four sandwiches, four feet of ribbon, or four pies. Write a story problem to represent four divided by one-third using the item you chose. Describe how it is divided into thirds, then ask how many thirds there are. So, uh, I need a name for my story problem. Camry, who is it going to be? Hurry, I'll choose someone else. Okay, Pete. Okay. okay, so it says write a story problem to represent four divided by one third. And we're going to use Pete. Pete has four pies. If he wants to share, to give each person three pies, I'm sorry, if he wants to give each person one third. So if he has four pies, if he wants to give each person one third of a pie, how many people will get pie? Okay, then step C says draw a diagram to solve. So we're going to make four pies. We're going to divide those pies into thirds.
And then we are count, count the pieces of our pie. There are three pieces in four, each of four pies. So how many people can get 12. a third of a pie? Twelve. They would each be able to get one piece. Three, six, nine, twelve. Okay, we're moving on to example three. That starts about the middle of page 358. It says write a story problem. Then draw a diagram to solve one half divided by five. Choose the item you want to divide. They give us a pizza, a yard of half a yard of rope, or half a gallon of milk. Your problem should describe one half of each item that can be divided into five equal parts. So we're going to use a write a story problem that represents one half divided by five. Sue. We're going to call this girl, this one, Sue. Sue has. Oh, one half of a gallon of milk. She divides the milk into five equal servings. So Sue has a half gallon of milk. She divides the milk into five equal servings. What fraction of a gallon is each serving? Okay, step three of example three says draw a diagram to solve. One half divided by five. So you're going to have to draw a hole. So we're, I'm going to draw a whole rectangle. And I'm going to cut my rectangle in half. And of each of those halves, I'm going to cut it into five pieces. So you'll need four lines in each half. That shows the half gallon divided into five. Right here is where we're looking. Okay. So of a gallon, somebody's going to get one of these parts. We had five parts here and, whoops, my circle should have went over there, and five parts here. So how much, how many chunks or servings did we divide that gallon into? Ten, right? So everybody's going to get one-tenth of a gallon. Here we go, we're on the share, on, share and show on page 359. We're supposed to complete the story problem to represent three divided by one fourth. Carmen has a roll of paper that is blank long. What are we going to use? One fourth or three? Three. It's three feet long. She cuts the paper into pieces that are each one fourth foot long. How many pieces of paper does Carmen have? So if we draw our picture, she has a three feet long piece of paper. We're going to divide that into three, representing three feet. She's going to cut it into one fourth size pieces. How many pieces of paper does Carmen have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, four. Twelve, one, four size pieces of paper. doesn't give you a line. You can just write it out to the end of the question. 
This is the on your own on page 359, number four. It says, write an equation to represent the problem, then solve. Benito has one-third kilogram of grapes. He divides the grapes equally into three bags. What fraction of a kilogram of grapes does each bag have? So he has one-third, and he's going to divide that into three bags. And that will equal N. So if I make this into a fraction, I can come down here, make this a times, do my reciprocal, and find out that N is equal to 1 ninth kilogram. This is number five of the on your own. It says draw a diagram to represent the problem. Sonia has five sandwiches. Five sandwiches. So draw your five sandwiches. She cuts each sandwich into fourths. So you're going to divide your sandwiches into fourths. Divide them in half and then divide your halves. How many one-fourth size sandwich pieces does she have? How many? Four times five. 20. One-fourth. Size sandwich pieces. If I were to work that out, I would have five divided by one fourth. I would make this a fraction. And I would have five over one times four over one, which equals 20 over one or 20. 